Clicking the square at the bottom left of the style editor, you can access the color sliders. Use the sliders to modify the appearance of the current special area or special line. If you want to check the animation you have just done, click on the play button. Of course, you can also loop the scene, stop the animation and step through the frames. Look! The yellow monster is too small and the green one conceals him. Change its position using the movement pad buttons. You can make it smaller or bigger clicking on the plus or the minus. Rotate it with the round arrow and move it on all directions using the four arrows. Ok, I like this position. Note that a blue key appeared on the left of the first frame of the yellow monster's column. This is a position key. Now go to the end of the scene and add a new key modifying the monster's position again. Two simple steps to create an animation. Click on the music button to listen to the soundtrack you loaded. <laughs> Moving the slider at the bottom of the composer, you can control the speed of the exported animation. Move the slider to the right to increase the animation speed. Move the slider to the left to decrease it. <laughs> 